Welcome back, everyone. I want to talk a little bit today and kind of ramble for a few minutes about work-life balance with as being a YouTuber. And, and I use that term YouTuber very loosely. I don't really consider myself a quote-unquote YouTuber. I'm just an average guy that happens to have a camera phone, a camera on my phone, and uh, a microphone. <laughs> so I'm just a guy that's talking to other average knife collectors, watch collectors, and EDC guys. And I don't really... <clears throat> I, I have a day job. I have a day job that I enjoy most of the time um, <laughs> that I spent a long time doing. Um, it, it's not just a day job, it's a career. And so YouTube is just an outlet for me to talk about this sort of stuff um, and share some of my collection with people that I don't know in person as well as it's grown into people loaning me knives to talk about. Uh, all the stuff you see here on the table is all mine. Uh, I didn't. I do have some loaners in right now that I'm doing reviews on and whatnot, but it's... Uh, yes, is my channel monetized? Uh, sure, of course. Um, do I make any money? <laughs> you know, a hundred bucks a month, maybe 150, you know, something like that. A hundred, 200 bucks a month. Woohoo. Big deal. That doesn't even include, or that doesn't even cover the shipping that I do every month, returning knives to people. Now that's a whole different video, a whole different video. But a viewer did ask at one point about work-life balance, you know, and how does that work with being a YouTube guy? Um, this is the Frankie ring from Chris Black Designs. Totally, totally awesome. Love this ring as well as the Frankie bracelet that goes along with it. Just awesome combination. So thanks to those guys down in Australia. It is a little tight, but you know, it's just perfect. So I thought I would just grab a few things. I did not go for the carbon fiber look intentionally. I just grabbed some pieces that are some of my favorites that I've either had. Well, yes, I've had all of these for quite a number of years now. I think this is the most recent one um, in the carbon fiber. And then the Shark Nivco is the more recent knife in the group. So what does work-life balance mean for me? And how do I manage it? And it's a question to you guys. How do you manage work-life balance in general, whether you have YouTube or not? I don't think I have the answers because I'm not sure I do it very well. <laughs> Seriously, though, I, I don't think I balance work and life very well. Um, the job I have is pretty much a 24-7 on-call type of job. So um, I could, you know, my phone could start going off now. And I may have to fire up the laptop and log in and do something. And I'm filming this on a Sunday morning. So I try to have balance because, well, how do I manage the YouTube channel? I work from home. So I have that level of work-life balance because I work from home with unset hours because I'm basically on call 24-7. I can log in in the morning, do some work, go to a meeting. I can then either log off or I can just lock my computer, come over here, do some videos, and then log back in and go to some more meetings, do some more work log off, go do my laundry, go watch a movie on TV or Netflix, uh, and then come back and do work again later in the afternoon. So it gives me a lot of flexibility. 
So that in and of itself helps me have some balance in my life because I don't necessarily have the eight to five Monday through Friday job. Does it get in the way on the weekends when I have to do weekend work? Because, well, sometimes some of the work I do has to be performed on the weekend. Yeah, sure. It it digs into my weekend time. But, I, and I'm kind of going through my list of things here on the side. I, you know, to try to keep this in somewhat a semblance of organized thoughts. You know, so I work from home, so it gives me a lot of flexibility. Um, when I'm not working and I log off, yes, I do leave my work phone sometimes in my office and I'm in the other room and I watch a lot of TV and movies and HBO and Netflix and that kind of stuff. So that's, that's one of the ways that I kind of unplug is by watching movies. Um, another thing that is kind of YouTube related is I'm in a bunch of group chats and group messaging groups and things like that, that we're talking about knives. So that is a break from my day job or my career, but it does kind of spill over into the YouTube job, if you will. But I just look at it differently. YouTube's not a job to me, so it's my off time, right? I don't really worry so much about the views and the subscribers and the watch time and all that stuff that traditional YouTubers are worried about. I don't want to be that guy. Yes, the channel is growing, um, but it's just kind of growing naturally just because I sit here and I talk and I post videos. So just by nature, it's grown. So I think that helps me to have work-life balance because when I'm not doing my day job, YouTube really isn't work to me. It takes time, don't get to me wrong. Um, it, it certainly takes time and effort to do a YouTube channel, okay? Um, I absolutely love this pizza coin. I will probably look at your Urban EDC and they have a copper one. This is copper, but it's coated. They have a raw copper one that uh, this is their burnt pie. They have the normal pie I will probably get. And then they have one that's all cut in slices that you can actually break and give off pieces. I, I will probably get those also just because it's so cool. Um, Just a little side note there. But... YouTube's not a job. So for me, it's fun, even though it takes some time and effort and money to put together. I've spent a lot of money buying this table, buying this overhead rig, buying the light over here, um, some other gear, this microphone. Like, I mean, yeah, I spent a ton of money to try to do a quality job and give the viewers quality content, but it's not a job. So when I'm doing this, it's giving me that balance between working and life. Okay, so the group chats really help. Um, even though we're talking about knives and watches because that's not my day job. What else helps me in work and life balance is vacations. <laughs> As some of you know, and I, I mentioned previously, I went to Hawaii in 2021. That was the first, and I'm not even kidding, that is the first non-working vacation I had had since 1996. Yeah, I know. Work and balance and life has been an issue for me my entire life. I have oftentimes been defined in my own mind by my job, by my career. My work is very important to me. But last year, when I went to Hawaii in 2021, I literally checked my work phone, I think, one day, kind of in the middle of the week. Now, granted, my company was shut down that week, so there really wasn't much going on. But even when our company is shut down, due to the nature of my job, 
there may still be work for us to do. Um, because again, our group department is 24 seven. So vacations, I plan on going back to Hawaii in 2022. Now that particular week, my company is not shut down. So it will be a little bit more difficult for me to disconnect just mentally. My partner at work is super big and will be like, dude, don't even take your work phone. I will take my work phone. I will probably take my work laptop just in case because that's who I am. But I still have the balance. So vacations is a big thing now. I think the vacation in 2021 kind of opened my eyes that I need to take more vacations. So I plan to do that. Okay, so just so you're wondering, in case you're wondering, we'll go back to the life work-life balance in just a second. This is a one-off Beg Knives Bodega, G10 scales, carbon fiber inlay, herringbone Damascus blade, standard Benchmade 940-1 carbon fiber, Eric Kramer Reaper, one-off, carbon fiber, Ironwood Backspacer. I bought this from Eric directly at a show. I just could not pass it up. It's amazing, amazing knife. Todd Fisher Sr. Archangel. Awesome, awesome knife. Got this a couple years ago from a good friend of mine. Used. This is one of Todd's older or earlier versions, earlier models. And the Shark Nivco Ryu that I was finally able to get also on the secondary from a friend. And this is a model from 2015-ish, I think. I'd have to look back at my notes. Or you can check out the video. I did a video on this if you want to know more about it. Um, yeah. And Edison has been a good friend of mine for many years. So it was an honor to be able to finally get one of his handmade custom knives with no CNC. But that fit and finish is amazing. Okay. So back to work-life balance. How do you guys balance your work and life, whether you have a YouTube or not? For me, I mean, another thing that I'm trying to do that I'm failing miserably at right now is doing some exercising, like walking at lunch, like literally putting it on your calendar and walking a couple, three times a week. That helped me before, and then I got out of that. Um, you know, you miss a couple of days, and you kind of stop doing it. <laughs> it's a problem, because I'm not training right now. I used to do triathlons and have knee issues, so I've hung up my running shoes, officially hung them up, and I'm done. But that was a great time in my life. I was in much better fit, um, weighed a lot better, looked a lot better, and all of that. Um, but yeah, that triathlons take a toll on your body. Um, so I need to get back into just starting to walk again to take that break during the day, I think is really important also. And another thing for me is memes. <laughs> if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, yeah, I post a lot of memes to me, that's a really break from reality, a uh, break from work, a break from life, a break from social life, a break from YouTube. It's just a break. And it's fun. And it's dorky. And that, to me, is really an important part of how I manage my daily kind of stress levels, if you will, and my work and life balance. I don't know. I don't have the answers, guys. This is really just a discussion topic because one of you are talk, asked me about it. And two, I thought it's important to talk about. Um, and speaking of loner knives, I actually do have one here that I still need to video is the Skiff Drifter from Alex at the Knifebox channel. And I've done a video on this before, not this specific one, but I've done a drifter video before. So I'm going to just do a quick overview of this and talk about how Alex had it modded and made some changes to it. Because qu quite frankly, it's not my favorite knife in the world. It's okay, but it's to me, it's, it's just okay. 
So I would love to hear your comments and your thoughts on work-life balance and what that means to you and any tips that you may have for the other viewers. Because I think that's what it's all about is sharing knowledge and sharing ideas and information. And that's really why I started the channel was to share knives with people that may not be able to see this knife or that knife or watches because I've gotten into watches now too. I didn't bring any out because I'm still kind of healing. Um, so I'm not really wearing a watch just yet. It's almost all healed down here um, from this tattoo work. So that's why watches weren't completely on my mind because I haven't really worn a watch in almost a month because of all of that work on my wrist. So let me know your thoughts down below. I kind of rambled here at the end. I don't know if I gave you any valid information or help in your life. Let me know if I did. And let me know what you think about work-life balance because I'm very interested to hear because it's a thing I kind of struggle with throughout my whole career, last 30 years I've been working, I don't think I've done a good job at balancing those things. So I hope this helps. Let me know down below. Have a great day. Please come back tomorrow and uh, we'll see you then. Thanks guys.